Denver 7 Now is sponsored by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Ann Trujillo with the latest from Denver 7. Disgusting and disturbing behavior at the Cherry Creek Mall. A mother says she saw a man exposing himself and he was near children in the play area. And now other parents are saying they've seen him there before. Denver 7's Gary Bro talked to the mother who took the picture and she says this man needs to be caught. That mother tells us she was appalled when she saw that man's genitals exposed right in front of a group of kids playing here at the Cherry Creek Mall. She says she immediately grabbed her child and alerted security. And now police have an active investigation open. A jarring image near innocent children. I was in shock and disgusted. And honestly, I was worried for my daughter and the other children that play in. That mother who would like to remain anonymous says she was taking pictures of her 18-month-old daughter. She was playing in the children's area at the Cherry Creek Mall. And I looked over and noticed an older man sitting by himself. And when I looked over, I realized that his genitals were out. Um, and it looked like he was touching himself. She quickly took this picture and grabbed her daughter. She says she went to tell security, and by the time she got back, he was gone. Denver police were called. They tell us they are aware of the situation that happened Friday. They say they are looking into it and reviewing the surveillance video to see if the elderly man meant to expose himself. It's our job to keep our kids safe. What can you do except say something? Shelby Murray saw this picture in a closed Facebook group. She posted a picture of everything, of what she saw. And I knew right away who that guy was, that it was the same guy that I had seen before. She says she saw that same man in the play area back in October hugging a boy. And I thought everything was fine until I saw the boy, the boy's mom come up to the boy and get him ready to leave. And I didn't see her communicate with the older gentleman at all. And I thought that was really strange. She says they told security, but just like last week, by the time they got back, that man was gone. I spoke with the general manager of the mall. He says security has been increased at the play area and police will be called immediately if he returns. Hopefully we can finally catch him and get him off the street. In Denver, Gary Broad, Denver 7. And we're following a developing story near Bailey where a wildfire is burning in the Lost Creek Wilderness Area, about six miles southwest of town. We know about 37 acres have burned. It's 0% contained right now, and the U.S. Forest Service says, thankfully, no structures are threatened. And some chaos in Lodo after a driver plows through a crowd. Witnesses say a fight started. People were throwing things at that car you see there, trying to pry the door off and pull the driver out. Denver police started launching pepper spray, and then this new video shows that that's why the car then took off and then hit two people. Denver police say they know who this driver is. They have not yet arrested him. A fight over a parking spot leads to a shooting at a Lakewood Walmart. Police say it happened Sunday night at uh, the store at Wadsworth and 6th Avenue, and the person who was shot was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. Police are still looking for two suspects who they say drove off in an older model white or silver SUV. So if you know anything, call Lakewood Police. Denver police are testing their technology to help speed up their response to shootings. The shot spotter system helps detect gunfire by pinpointing where it's coming from and sending alerts to 911 dispatch. Police will be firing off fake rounds tonight between 6 o'clock and midnight, both in the downtown area and in West Denver. Bears are making their way into Boulder neighborhoods, and now Colorado Parks and Wildlife officials are trying to help people protect themselves. CPW is hosting a town hall right now, teaching homeowners about why the bears are coming in from the wild and what homeowners can do to keep the bears away. This gathering runs until 8 o'clock tonight. Colorado Parks and Wildlife officials have confirmed a mountain lion put down last week is the one that attacked an eight-year-old boy. That mountain lion bit the boy on the head last Wednesday, and then the next day, rangers euthanized two mountain lions that were spotted nearby. DNA results show one of them was involved. Now, the boy, he had a second surgery yesterday. He is recovering, and his family put out a statement saying, in part, our son is a compassionate and brave little boy, and we thank everyone for their overwhelming support, expressions of concern, and offers to help. And now from the First Alert Weather Center, here is a look at your forecast. We hope you're enjoying this cooler weather Tuesday again in the 70s, and then it will warm up again back into the 90s. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you so much for joining us, and check back here later tonight for another update. And download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Ann Trujillo.